if you are wondering whether pumpkin seed oil could be the answer to your hair loss problems, this is the video for you. We go in depth in this one. We're gonna look at everything from what it is to the side effects, what the science says, how you can actually start using it in a hair care routine. We'll give you a conclusion. This one is gonna be a pretty long one. So if you're interested in pumpkin seed oil, make sure to stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to the Hair Guard YouTube channel. If you're new here, we create tons of science-backed YouTube videos all about the science of hair loss, just like this one. So if you're new here, make sure to hit subscribe. So what you're gonna learn about today in this video is we're gonna look at what pumpkin seed oil is and what it does. We're gonna look at what the science has to say about it. We're gonna look at the side effects. We're gonna look at how you can use it. At, then we'll just give you a bottom line. We'll give you a conclusion. Uh, but first, what we're gonna do is take a quick look at what causes pattern hair loss or androgenetic alopecia in the first place. So a brief introduction to pattern hair loss. Androgenetic alopecia is estimated to affect about 50 million men in the US. It generally begins with hair loss at the temples, continues on around the crown, and eventually leads to total baldness. It's caused by a genetic predisposition and the principal androgen believed to be associated with it is dihydrotestosterone or DHT. And just before we go any further, if you see those brackets, it means that we're citing some kind of academic resource or piece of literature. So we're gonna link all the resources that we've used for you in the description for you to go and further your own knowledge. Back to the video. Now, it is thought that when DHT levels increase in hair follicles, the hair's growth cycle is shortened and new hair growth is delayed. Over time, the hair follicles completely stop growing new hair. The pharmaceutical treatment options for androgenetic alopecia are minoxidil and finasteride. Minoxidil, commonly known as Rogaine, is a topical treatment that stimulates the hair follicles. Finasteride, marketed as Propecia and Proscar, is a pill that works by binding to the enzyme 5 alpha reductase that would otherwise convert free testosterone to dihydrotestosterone. Both of these pharmaceutical options can be costly and they also have potential adverse side effects. The possibility that an inexpensive natural substance like pumpkin seed could be an alternative remedy for androgenetic alopecia, that was a mouthful, would certainly seem to justify all the fuss if it actually worked. So now we're gonna get into pumpkin seed oil. First, what is pumpkin seed oil? Pumpkin seed is obtained by expeller pressing toasted hulled pumpkin seeds. It is a rich source of antioxidants, essential fatty acids, minerals, and more. <clears throat> it is also a long time foodie favorite for its nutty aroma and flavor. Aside from being a delicious edible plant uh, and making a darn good pie, pumpkin is also known to have substantial medicinal properties, including anti-diabetic, anti-carcinogenic, anti-inflammatory, and others. Pumpkin oil has been highly valued for its healing properties ever since it was first produced in Austria back in the 17th century. As a matter of fact, in March 1773, Austrian Empress Maria Theresa issued a legal uh, edict which stipulated the healthy oil is unique and much too precious for using it in tasty meals and therefore should rather be used as a medicine. So it shall not be used as a culinary delicacy anymore, but shall be collected and distributed only by the apothecaries. Now today, pumpkin seed oil is used to treat all sorts of issues and conditions, from prostate function problems to high cholesterol, to arthritis, to diabetes. It also tastes heavenly on a salad. So that's what pumpkin seed oil is. What can it do for your hair? There are a lot of health benefits attributed to pumpkin seed oil, most of which have nothing to do with hair loss. The following is a summary of the main health uses of pumpkin seed oil, including the conditions that it's used to treat. First is mineral support. Pumpkins, like all plants that have a close relationship to the soil, are an excellent source of mineral nutrients. Pumpkin seeds, extracts, and oil are all very good sources of the minerals phosphorus, uh, magnesium, magne manganese, and copper, and are good sources of the minerals zinc and iron. Also, pumpkin seed does a good job of antioxidant support. Pumpkin seeds have a broad diversity of antioxidants. Uh, for example, they contain a wide variety of of forms of vitamin E, two of which have only recently been discovered. They also contain mineral antioxidants, much like evening primrose oil, uh, phenolic antioxidants, and lignans. 
This diverse mixture of antioxidants imbues pumpkin seeds with antioxidant related properties that are not widely found in other foods. Then it's also anti-inflammatory. Fatty acids isolated from pumpkin seed oil have been used in medicine for their anti-inflammatory properties and include mainly lin linoleic, uh, followed by oleic, palmitic and stearic acid. The people of Central America and India rub the oil extracted from the seeds of pumpkin on herpes sores, venereal sores, acne and stubborn leg ulcers, which refuse to heal. Pumpkin leaves are also applied as pulled ties on sprains and pulled ligaments. Also, uh, pumpkin seeds, extracts and oil are used to improve insulin regulation in animals and to prevent some unwanted consequences of diabetes or kidney function. Then antimicrobial, pumpkin seeds have antibacterial, antifungal and antiviral properties as a result of their unique proteins. Also, pumpkin seeds are unique in their composition of antioxidant nutrients, which can decrease oxidative states association with the development of some cancers. Additionally, the lignin content of pumpkin seeds could play a role in treating breast and prostate cancer. Then we've got benign prostatic hyperlasia. Pumpkin seed oil has been used to treat BPH successfully based on its uh, phytosterol, lignin and zinc content, which is interestingly what hair loss drug finasteride was originally intended to treat. Also, certain types of hair loss. As a proven antifungal and antibacterial agent, pumpkin seed oil can be helpful for maintaining a clean and healthy scalp and strong healthy hair follicles. In this way, it may be useful in treating hair loss caused by clogged hair follicles, dead skin buildup, or some sort of scalp condition. Then also, pumpkin seed oil may be helpful in treating androgenetic alopecia, also known as male pattern baldness. Right, so pumpkin seed oil can do a lot of great stuff. So what does the science actually have to say about pumpkin seed oil? In other words, is pumpkin seed oil really an effective treatment for male pattern baldness? In 2014, evidence-based uh, evidence based complementary and alternative medicine published the results of a clinical research study that investigated the efficacy of pumpkin seed oil as a treatment for androgenetic alopecia. This was first randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial to study the issue. <clears throat> The 24-week trial included 76 male subjects with mild to moderate androgenetic alopecia. Half were given a daily supplement which included pumpkin seed oil in the form of a 400 mg capsule and the other half were given a placebo. Now it's important to know that the supplement given to participants was Octosable Plus, which does contain pumpkin seed powder but also additional ingredients. Uh, and these include the, you, you can just read along, like I'm not going to try and pronounce all these things. Um, but this means that there's no way to definitely say whether the pumpkin seed oil was the source of the study's results, or it could have been that the other ingredients also played a role. Now, the researchers used a process uh, known as phototrichography to analyze hair changes, including hair counts and diameters. Hair analysis was performed at the start of the trial to establish a baseline uh, after 12 weeks of treatment and again after 24 weeks of treatment. The results shown in the in the two tables uh, here, which I'll show you in the next slide, show that the pumpkin seed oil treatment group had significant increases in hair count over the placebo group. The differences in hair thickness were ne uh, negligible. As a result of their study, the researchers were able to conclude that taking a pumpkin seed oil supplement for 24 weeks has a positive anabolic effect on hair growth in patients with mild to moderate androgenetic alopecia. They believe this could be due to the possible effects of 5-alpha reductase inhibition. So you can see here that it's, it's clear from the diagram that uh, the pumpkin seed oil did have a positive effect on hair count compared to the placebo after 24 weeks. Differences in hair thickness compared to the place placebo was negligible. So can pumpkin seed oil really treat hair loss? As stated, the supplement used in the trial contained pumpkin seed oil, but it wasn't the sole ingredient. So the real question becomes, can it treat hair loss by itself? Well, the answer is we don't know. While it's likely that pumpkin seed oil contributes various benefits, including anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial, there's no way to tell exactly what effect it has on the hair growth cycle. After all, the other ingredients found in pumpkin seed oil containing supplement may have also contributed to the growth. These ingredients, including all these various things, have themselves been shown to possibly contribute to hair health and regrowth. 
As such, there's no way to determine what percentage of the results were due to pumpkin seed oil and what percentage was due to other ingredients. Does this mean that you should avoid pumpkin seed oil? No, but you should know that much more research is necessary and there are likely better alternatives out there. So what are the side effects of taking pumpkin seed oil? According to the University of Michigan Health System, pumpkin seed oil has no reported side effects. However, it has been speculated that it might have a diuretic effect. Thus, taking a pumpkin seed oil containing supplement might decrease how well the body gets rid of lithium. This could increase how much lithium is in the body and result in serious side effects. Finally, it is important to note that any natural remedy can cause an allergic reaction in some people. And this holds true for pumpkin and its many derivatives. Signs of an allergic reaction may include breathing problems, tightness in the chest or throat, chest pain, hives or rash, and itchy or swollen skin. Any of these reactions should be treated as a medical emergency. Women who are pregnant or nursing should not take any supplements without consulting their doctor. So if you do decide to go ahead and use it, how can you actually start implementing it? For use in maintaining a healthy scalp, pumpkin seed oil should be massaged into the scalp with some type of carrier oil such as olive oil and then left in overnight. It has been suggested that this should be repeated at least twice a week for a mini minimum of two months before expecting to see results. For the treatment of androgenetic alopecia, pumpkin seed oil is ingested orally as a supplement. Pumpkin seed oil supplements are widely available online and at drugstores, grocery stores, nutrition specialty stores and the like. They are packaged as capsules or soft gel caps. Dosages range from 500 to 1000 milligrams and prices typically range from 15 to 35 cents per unit, depending on, of course, the dosage, brand and quantity purchased. There is promising scientific evidence to support the use of pumpkin seed oil supplements to treat mild to moderate androgenetic alopecia, also known as male pattern baldness. However, there has been only one trial and much more research needs to be done to verify its results and identify a recommended dosage. So guys, we hope you enjoyed that video on pumpkin seed oil. If you are new to the channel, make sure to hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.